Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's Bone Mac here, back with another video. So today I got you guys with the best popper in 2K24. If you're trying to create a, a stretch that's like a popper, could go crazy on the catch and shoot, and also play around on defense and stuff, this is the build for you guys. This is the video for you guys. And if you are anybody that could, if you want a popper, you're a guard and you want a popper, just share this video to any guy who want to create a popper. And yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. We're trying to get 5K subscribers, so don't forget to like and subscribe. And let's get right into this video. Hands, honestly, you could low-key make it a left hand, just make it a unique, you know? People, defense will not really expect a left hand popper, you know? If you're trying to make it unique, make it left hand, but just keep it right for the sake of it. And jersey number, again, you guys could choose, it doesn't really matter. But let's continue. Now, position, you guys, follow, you guys gotta follow me step by step on this, because especially on the finishing, I'll give you guys different leeways to actually fill your place as a popper, because it's a different type of popper. So just follow me step by step, I'll give you guys any modification. I'll tell you guys in detail when you guys need to like modify it or put it your own way. Now, for the position, it has to be center. Matter of fact, you can make it a power forward, it doesn't really matter, just make it center for the sake of it. Height's gonna be 6'10", so just make it center, you guys can make it a power forward and make it 6'10". But wait, we're gonna put it to the lowest, I think to the lowest, right, hold up. No, 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 just put it to 20. It's not too low, because we need this speed, but do not decrease too much of the strength, because we're gonna max out the strength at a 90. This build's gonna have a huge amount of strength. Now, you may say, we can't really max out strength at a 90, it's 86. Well, for that, we're gonna put it to the lowest, right there, giving, uh, lowest wingspan, right there, giving you that 90 strength you need. The template is very important, right here. You guys gotta put it to the lowest on height and wingspan. Weight, you gotta put it to 20. Right there's gonna be able to give you a good amount of speed, a good amount of excel, we're gonna max out the excel and stuff, and also, you're gonna have strength. Now, stretch as a popper, you need Excel and stuff. I'm gonna get more detail into it, but you need Excel because Spot Finder. It says in its name, you're a, you're a popper, so you do need this on. We're gonna have more stuff later on. Now, turn off popper stretch, we need catch and shoot, right? I'm gonna max this out, mid range, max it out right there. Guess what? We have catch and shoot on Hall of Fame, guard up on Hall of Fame. So if people are closing out, we got that on Hall of Fame. So we're gonna max out blinders on gold. So we already got a max down stuff, right? Now we're gonna have post phenomenal stuff because we are gonna be able to shoot. We're gonna have that in Hall of Fame. So just watch out on that. And three-pointer max it out again, right? They're giving you Claymore, Agent 3, Limitless. So even though Limitless don't need as much, but we got the, you know, just for the sake of we got it, corner specialists don't go, we got that definitely. And right here, the shooting is going crazy right now, right? Guess what though? Spot finders, I told you guys, we need Excel for that, which we're definitely gonna get. We're gonna max out the Excel. So, Follow me step by step, I'll tell you guys what you guys need to do. Excel, max it out right there, giving you Excel. I mean, giving you a spot, a spot finder. Uh, not on Hall of Fame, I'll tweak it on Silver right there. Improves the player's ability to quickly get open off the, off the ball. Now, you definitely need that as a popper, right? Other thing most people don't really know, just do push control, because you definitely need that right there. It's gonna give you unpluckable, which you kind of need, and also drop step and stuff for the finishing. Right here, put it to 85. Very solid on post control, right? They're giving you post a phenomenal on Hall of Fame. That means you can fade. Not only you're, like, you're a catch and shoot, you can actually fade off that. Now we have Dream Shake and stuff. We don't need that much, but we have a puckable. I see a badge, we have that on silver. We're not gonna unlock it through ball handling, which we're not gonna, we're a popper, so we don't need too much ball handling. We're gonna unlock it through post control because we need that on the post a phenomenal too. Now, this, we're gonna put all of the 70. I'll tell you guys why, because later on, I'll modify a later one depending on your play style. But for right now, just put it to 70, all the 70. So late, driving layup at a 70, driving dunk at a 70. So it's like, it's very solid all around for finishing. And not the best, but I'll, I'll, I'll modify it so it's not the end. Staying dunk at a 70 right there, right? All these are 70, post control 85, right? 70, tweet. Now, pass accuracy, you definitely need this. So we're gonna have that at an 80, very high pass accuracy, right? Now right here at a 72, I'm pretty sure, no, so not 70, where's the 73? Diamond's gonna be on silver, which we definitely need. We're gonna have this at an 80. A lot more on, like, replay passer. Uh, post playmaker, of course, if you post it up, we can bail it out. You can't really have bail out, because <laughs> that's 87, and that's that's too much. We're not gonna sacrifice too much attributes. And ball handling, we're not gonna leave it like this. We're gonna have it at 64. That way, there's gonna be able to give us, like, big drive and also physical handles and stuff, 64 right here. Now, it's not locked because we don't, we don't have the physicals yet. But we have speed with ball and stuff, we're gonna have speed with a 60. And more physicals and stuff is gonna be unlocked now. 60 right there is, big drivers will be unlocked, which I'll tell you guys why you need that. And right here, keep it at 60 to give it overall speed. Now, big driver increases the chance of a blowback when attacking close to the basket. If people are playing you tight, because you know you're chicken, you can use that big driver bash to go for that driving lab or driving dunk, which will soon help, depending on your, your play style, I'll make it have a contact dunk. 
I'll tell you guys why. And also at a 70, you get like Giannis contact down stuff, so you should be straight. You're gonna have a decent amount of vertical too. On defense, as a popular candidate rebound, so max out both offensive and defensive rebound. Max these both out. We're gonna have XL and um, I mean vertical, so we're gonna be straight with them too. Now, interior defense, we have a maxed out strength, which we will have. Actually, max out the strength right now. Max out the strength right here. Right there, we're gonna have a decent amount of physical handles, which we do need for the finishing. And movable enforcers there. Post of lockdown will be there when we when we upgrade the interior uh, defense. Now, interior defense, we're gonna have this at 80. Right here at 80. We're gonna have anchor stuff. No, hold up. Where's anchor? Oh, we're not, we're not done with the block. Hold up. Hold up. We're gonna get anchor, but post lockdown is unlocked. Now, on the blocks, we're gonna have the 80 block right there. 80 block right there. Have that at 80. Right there, anchor is gonna be unlocked. Now, perimeter and still keep it like this for now. And uh, speed, put it to a 70. Very solid speed. We don't need as much speed as a popper. But, you know, just for the sake of it, have it. I'll tell you guys a, a new modification later on. And then 70 vertical for the finishing and stuff. And also, we yeah, got chase down. You know, of course, we need chase down. 70 right there. And Pogo's going to be on server too. And max out. Mm, don't max it out. Just put it to 95. Because again, max out 10 minutes is not necessary. Like, it's not really going to be necessary. You can max it out and still have more attributes to upgrade. I'll tell you guys, just put it to 95. No, 94, 93. 95 is straight. I have a big man that has a 95. It's already solid, right? 95 stamina is already good. Now, the rest is up to you guys to modify. Like, it's honestly your choice. And not only that, I told you guys, I'm gonna modify driving lane and driving dunk, right? Most, most spot up, you mostly go for driving dunk. So if you're gonna be a driving dunk or driving lane person or a player, just put a staying dunk low. We don't need as much staying dunk because we're not getting as much badge. Put it to like 40 or something and put the rest to driving dunk. Right there, 86, giving you a contact dunk animation. That way, to actually give you a contact that you need vertical 75 too. You can play around with it. I'm not trying to mess it up, but you can probably make a little bit of a close shot to get the vertical up. Not too much, because we're not, we not trying to get the thing up, but right here, trying to make it a 75 right there. That right there will unlock contact dunk. That's the first option. I'll give you guys more modification right here. Now, staying dunk is not really necessary. So, you can sacrifice standing dunk to upgrade the driving lip and driving dunk. Or close shot too, like you could probably upgrade these and play around with these three right here. Because the finishing is depending on your play style. You're trying to be more of like a post scoring build, which you definitely need a standing dunk rather than driving dunk. And if you need a close shot build, you probably need a close shot for, <laughs> for post looking, you need more close shots, but it's up to your choice. But now we're trying to get a saucy. We have a decent amount of speed with Excel. So 86 driving dunk will allow you to actually have some contact dunks animation, especially, especially with the thing you have vertical. So I'll give you guys an option on the finishing. It's your play style. And if you enjoy this modification, and also if you need free points, decrease it from the standing dunk and put it to free throw, depending how you play, uh, if you play in record stuff. If not, just put it that contact dunk, get you some clips. And hey, don't forget to like, subscribe. I know this video is gonna help you guys out. So don't forget to like and subscribe, share with a person who wants a spot up or any kind of popper. If you need somebody, just share that. And hey, don't forget to like, subscribe. We're on the way to 5K subscribers. Hey, yo, I'm out.